Minisan, konnichiwa. Kuin no kon e yokosa. Watashi wa anata no shikashai kon sandasu. So today we have something very special. And no, it's not my coming out as a bilingual. It's something very different, something a little more international. I said on the last episode that I wanted to do something a little more exotic. And so, <laughs> this is it. I've delved deep into the stores and I secured the bag and we have something from Japan or something inspired from Japanese tradition. We'll get to that in a second. I just want to say that we also have another special guest joining us on the show, Cheek Pimple. And Cheek Pimple is very new. Not to be confused with Nose Pimple. I'm not sure why this is happening to me all of a sudden. I'm usually known to have pretty clear skin, but maybe my, my two-in-one body wash shampoo isn't cutting it anymore. Today, we have something very cool, very awesome. We have mochi. In regards to the packaging, I'm gonna say it's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. You got the little mochi balls right here, which from what I understand is ice cream wrapped in rice dough. Never had rice dough, not the biggest fan of rice. I'm very much a texture guy and it just doesn't feel right when it's in my mouth. Hopefully, I'm completely misunderstanding what rice dough is. Packaging, very simple. It's President's Choice, so it's not authentic Japanese cuisine, but it does, from what I hear, do justice to the original. So, just right off the bat, pretty much gonna give it a three out of five. It's, it's nice and simple, which I like. Just a nice white backdrop, mochi at the bottom, mochi at the top. It's just pretty simple, but it does, it looks very Americanized very North American. I'd prefer something a little more true to the Japanese culture. So let's just give this the old tear down and jump right into it. It's got this nice easy peel back, which isn't the best, clearly. Three out of five, that's why it's rated that. But let's just open it up. I have no idea what to expect. As you can see, it comes in this little lunchable style tray. I'm seeing lots of freezer burn. Very reminiscent of Halo Top. Did get it at the same store, so maybe that's a Loblaws problem. Or maybe this is the good freezer burn, like on a Klondike cookie ice cream sandwich. Just grab the corner here, peel it back. I'm only gonna open up one, just, or two, or three. So I'm taking this out now. This doesn't, Seem to be freezer burn. I was mistaken, I was led astray. This is actually powder. So like on those powdered donuts. It does seem to be just a little cold ball of goodness. <laughs> let's do it, let's get international. Let's take that first bite. The strawberry is very strong. I'm not disliking the strawberry, but it's very chewy, very gummy. I was spe expecting something a little more hard, maybe akin to dibs, if you remember those. For first bite, I'm gonna say three out of five. It was good. It hits you with that kind of warm of the, the shell <laughs> and then hits you hard with the interior. And so it does have a nice little element in that way. I'm gonna say the flavors do pop out. First bite though, probably three out of five. It was harder to bite into than I expected. Let's take another bite and check out the texture. So for texture, I'm just gonna put this back in real quick. Yeah. Very dusty on the fingers. It's, it's kind of like a, you really gotta tear it, the dough. So the dough's kind of, kind of stiff almost. It's good, but it's kind of stiff. And then, so you get kind of that solid harden, you get kind of that solid hardness in your mouth. And then 
you get just decked with the cold chill of the berry, which is pretty good dairy, I'm not gonna lie. Strawberry is kind of doing it for me, I'm not gonna lie. But texture, I'd give it as well, maybe a three out of five. It, It's not anything too wonderful, but it's, it's definitely not horrible. It does feel right when it's in there. In regards to aftertaste, gotta give it, again, a three out of five. Maybe it's just the flavor I chose, strawberry, but my only other options were vanilla and mango, and I've never had mango before, <laughs> and I was told vanilla, not the best. So a friend's recommendation for strawberry led me to this. I can, I can understand the appeal, but I just personally, I'm, I, I think I might be a strawberry guy, but I don't think I'd get strawberry over another piece of dairy. But from what I can tell, Based with the dough and the dairy, you, you do taste it a little bit, the dough still, but you taste the dust that encases the exterior of the mochi. Mochi, sorry. <laughs> you, you do taste the dust still, as well as the strawberry aftertaste. So that's that's a good sign if you like strawberry. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the aftertaste a four. It does leave me wanting to bite into it again, for sure. So I just took another bite there. And as it's been sitting out of the freezer, the dough especially has been getting not as hard, not as stiff. And so it, that bite was easier to bite into. I'm gonna say for the wow factor, a four out of five. When I bit into that, I was kind of Whoa, I, I was taken back, <laughs> and that's not me being exaggerating. Yeah, it did It did give me that kick that I was looking for in this dish. Word to describe this mochi would probably be unique. This is a very unique experience. I've, I don't think I've ever had ice cream wrapped in dough before, even with like, frosted dust on top of that even like that's that's unheard of for me personally so i'd say unique is very very right to describe mochi yeah it was pretty good like I, i'm gonna eat the rest of these you may take me a bit because the strawberry flavor is a bit much i'm still new to that i like it but i'm still new to it so that's probably the one thing holding me back the actual ice cream and the dough felt felt right felt good so I would recommend that. Last words, any final thoughts? I'd say the mochi was pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I would get it again. There was a party pack I saw online with different flavors like lime and such, but they didn't have that when I went. I was gonna get that so I could try the different ones, but the strawberry pack did, did do justice to the mochi, I'd say. So overall, this is, this is a, it's a nice three to four tier, three to four range on the ranking. Pretty solid dish. It's pretty good, pretty good. I'd, I'd order this if I, if I saw it. Preferably if they had other flavors that I liked. Maybe a banana mochi, hmm? But yeah, this was a very interesting experience. I, I did like delving into other cultures a little bit. So thank you guys for watching. This has been the mochi review, I'd say pretty good experience overall. I definitely would recommend it. If you're ever at the grocery store and you see it, definitely pick it up. It was really good. I definitely recommend it. In regards to some back-end stuff, we just hit 50 subscribers and that's pretty cool. So thank you guys for subscribing. Be sure to hit the like button if you want to see more. Maybe mochi comparisons in the future between North American rendition and traditional Japanese. Maybe? Hmm? Love making videos. So be sure to stay tuned for next episode on Friday. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.